Hey, thanks for joining us. I want to take you through one of our foundational movements, which is called a hammer fist. It's a super easy and effective technique to pick up, and I'm going to take you through some of the points of it today. Grab the air, and you've pretty much got a fist, okay? We want to make sure that the thumb is curled on the underside of the fist and it's out of the way. The area of weapon that we're going to use here is this fleshy part on the side of the fist. We want to make sure we squeeze that fist as tight as we can on that point of impact. And apart from that, it's as easy as playing drums on their face. Okay, that's how I describe it and pretty much people pick it up straight away so you can give that a go. We're going to look at a side horizontal application of it. I've got Rose and Frankie here who's going to help me with this uh, demonstration and our good old impact head is going to take the brunt of it, I hope, rather than my head. So, <laughs> so Rose, can you give the impact head a good old horizontal uh, hammer fist to the throat? Fantastic. If it's a high level threat, obviously a throat strike is uh, a reasonable thing to do. If it's a lower level, maybe you go for a facial shot like the bridge of the nose. Ultimately, uh, both will do a decent job. If the attacker is on the move, of course, we may end up hitting with a different part of our arm, and that's okay. Um, at the end of the day, if it's in close enough, then a bent elbow is going to hit. If it's further away, then a forearm uh, will hit or a fist, okay? And this room for error is really critical because it's not going to be a polite fight. It's a street application, an actual application under duress and everything is on the move. Okay, so give it a good wallop now. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so you can see you can generate heaps of power and that's just through using the body and hip uh, as you go through the movement. Of course, you can pick up either an impact tool uh, and go for bony areas or you could go for uh, some sort of sharp tool like a key and go for softer areas and that's going to escalate your ability to defend to a much higher level uh, and again, without very much practice uh, or even skill set. But of course, to be able to apply it under pressure, it's really important that you have uh, done a number of reps of this. When we're faced with actual violence, we're not sure where that threat or attack is going to come from. It could be beside us, behind us or in front of us. The hammer fist gives us the versatility to be able to strike an attacker regardless of their position, and you can see us drilling that now. 